to the marine. Okay? So this illustrates how the materials come back later. And it's also used in lower elementary just to puzzle for kids that you know, come in and haven't had it in primary. Usually it's done maybe, maybe four or five years old. And then it comes back as math in uh, elementary. So I want to show you the math. Okay. So uh, as your prerequisite, which you'll get in about two minutes, which will take a long time. Normally you'll get squaring. So you, we can use a box top for squaring. It starts normally with the pegboard and the bead bars and all kinds of squaring lessons. Which some of these folks have bead bars. <coughs> and so before they get this, they have to know squaring. And for example, I'm going to do the algebraic one, okay? Because so if you took, for example, this short distance to be a, this little bit medium-sized distance to be b, and this long distance to be c then this is the square of A plus B plus C. Right? Okay. <laughs> that helps. I wish I had that one. So you have the squares on the diagonal, A squared, B squared, C squared. Mm -hmm. and these are all those other terms. A plus B plus C, the whole thing squared. Okay? Right? That's the abstract version of what you're showing us. Abstract, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And, but they would, they'd be building this with the pegboard. I bet people there now that are doing squaring with the pegboard on um, much bigger terms. But I'm going to do it out of right now. This is the advanced stuff I'll show you. So I'll let you know. Okay, so. And then this is actually, if this is a, the, the top is a plus b plus c squared, what do you think this is? Cubed. Cubed. Cube. This is a plus b plus c cubed. Okay. So I've given them a lesson. Are you telling them that that box over here? Yeah, are you going to use that right yes. now? Oh, yeah. you are. I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm going to show you one, which is one of my favorites. I can remember um, having girls, three girls, present this to all these parents one night. And they're just amazed. Apparently. It's called the, uh, the Story of the Three Kings. So I have to get the layout first. So This one is it tells a nice little story. So there's the, the C cube, right? Or maybe we'll call this A. Let's call this A. So that'd be the A cube. B cube. Okay. And they learn how to lay it out in a certain And the child knows how to do this, Jim, or you do, this is how you present it? They, I, I show them how to set it up this way. They're excited about doing this. I haven't done this in many years. So you've gone through and you've done um, cubing, <coughs> and you've learned that, uh, for example, this we'll call this a cube. So you have three edges coming together at a corner. A times a times a. a cube. And this.
this one has the square face of the A, <coughs> but has the, um, the other dimension is the B. So that's A squared B. Mm. So what would this one be? It has a square face of the A, but has a shorter dimension. It's a C. C. A squared C. So you see how it's working? Yes. This is the B cube, and this is the B squared A, B squared C, C, C cubed. C squared A, A C squared C squared B. B. Okay. And then what do you think these are? These have all three, so this is A, B, C. Okay? So they've done cubing and we've done quite a bit. And then, then I get to the story of the three kings. Okay, so uh, once there were three kings, and